Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I've got sticking up hairs in the background. And I actually brushed my hair today. See the issue with not going to a hairdresser to do my hair is when it mats together I have to cut it out. Which is why I've got little stringy bits at the back. But they won't stay down, so that's fun. Anyway, hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia, and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, I'm aiming to hit 10k by the end of the year, so let's do this. Teamwork. Today I'm doing a request video, which is on how some antidepressants make you lose your appetite. Now, I've been on, before I was on a mood stabiliser and an antipsychotic, I was on antidepressants because my mood was very depressive. So I have about a five year period in my life where I was just on antidepressants and I lost a lot of weight. I'll find a picture and insert it here. Most warning labels to say weight gain is possible. I know on all my medication it says weight gain is possible, which sucks, right? But as a matter of fact, I've actually lost weight on the medications. But let's talk specifically about antidepressants. So the first antidepressant I was on was fluoxetine. I reacted really badly to it, it sent me manic, it made me shaky, it made me paranoid. Not good. So I, I, don't, I was only on that for a week. So we're not including that one. Then I was put onto citalopram. Now citalopram was special. It didn't do much to my mood. So I don't know why I was on it for a year, but I was on it for a year. So Talipram made me lose a bunch of weight, and I was trying to recover from my eating disorder. I've been in eating disorder recovery for 10 years now, which is why if you don't follow me on Twitter, I'll put a link here, but this was such a big deal for me. So it really reduced my appetite. I didn't eat breakfast, didn't eat lunch had to eat my evening meal because of my family. I don't know, it brought me into a binge and purge sort of space. So my eating sort of kind of relapsed a bit. But the, on the label, on the side effects and like leaflets you get, it said weight gain, which I was terrified of, but in fact it did the opposite and it really, really did suppress my appetite. Then we was on sertraline. Oh, sertraline. Sertraline sent me, made me paranoid, but I still took it for half a year. I thought I'd give it a fair chance. So I, I did. And again, I lost weight on it. The only medication I've been on that has actually made me gain weight is quetiapine, also known as Seroquel, which is an antipsychotic. Had Paradigm has a warning that it says it makes you gain weight and increase appetite, but I, my appetite's not that great. I, I'm going out for meals, but and I'm having takeaways, but that's my own choice. That's not because I'm craving it, I just need food. <laughs> anyway, back on to Sertraline. So, oh, Sertraline. <laughs> I wish I had something good to say about you. Oh, it's gone. Yay. So sertraline. Sertraline was a medication that I took for half a year. It didn't make me gain weight, it didn't make me lose weight, it didn't really do anything to my appetite, I kind of just took it. So I don't really know for that one. Then we have mitazapine. Now mitazapine is one of the ones that it, it, it generally speaking makes you lose, gain weight because of how it works. So I used to take it at night. What are my nails are wonky? What are my wonky nails? You can't see it, I'm auto focus is on my face. I'm also filming in 4K for the first time, so bear with me. This is not gonna be fun to edit. <laughs> Cause I wanna use Premiere Pro. I hate, I hate Premiere Pro. It's what I use at uni, I don't wanna use it for YouTube as well. I prefer iMovie. It's easy. You just crop it out and delete it. On Premiere Pro you have to cut, delete, 
and drag it next to it. Anyway, metazapine. Metazapine, metazapine, metazapine. It didn't... I can't really remember it. Really, because it just sent me to sleep. Which is what it's meant to do. Then we've got venlafaxine. Now I took this for two and a half years. Venlafaxine is a medication that I took, which was supposed to help with suicidal thoughts. Can't say that it did that very well, but it, it tried. <laughs> I don't have a lot to say about it, considering how long I was on it for. It didn't make me gain weight, it didn't make me lose weight, it was just neutral. It didn't really do anything, I don't know why I took it for so long. Then there's the antidepressant that I'm on now, which is Vortioxetine. Now, I've been on Vortioxetine that I've lost weight, and in my personal experience, it's been the best antidepressant I've ever been on. And it's something that I would highly recommend. The best thing that's helped my depression, though, has been lithium. I know this isn't about that, but I thought I'd mention it. The best thing for my mood was lithium, which I got prescribed while I was in hospital. Not last year, the year before. On that note, I haven't had my lithium bloods done in about six months. Oops. Oopsie daisy. I should probably get around to booking that. But all in all, antidepressants aren't there for weight gain and weight loss. They're there to help with depression. And if it doesn't help your depression, speak up and say something because it can get changed. I do also take Trazodone, but I don't take it as an antidepressant, I take it as a sleeping tablet. That's why I'm not talking about that in this video. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you are new, subscribe, join the growing family. And if you're new, you're wanted, you're loved, you're appreciated. Stay strong, stay safe, stay sober. Peace.